Well, how y'all are this afternoon? It's your buddy George Jones over here at Tiberian Gun Range with my third attempt to do a video on this gun. Uh, the first attempt was going pretty good. Um, and then uh, the gun recoils so sharply in my hand that it actually hurt my thumb where I, you know, I had a surgery on this thing a few years ago and it, it still ain't right. But, um, I, uh, it, it hurt and I dropped the F-bomb so I had to quit with that. Then I tried to do it again. <laughs> and there's a track right over there. You know, train come through blowing its horn. So I had to stop and do it, try it again. So now here I'm on the third installment of eight. I get so used gun. This is the P64 Polish service pistol. Uh, it's a pretty good pistol in the way that it's designed. The features of this gun is it has a loaded round indicator back here on the back and you can see when it's loaded. It's double action, all the double single, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it has a hammer drop safety on it, similar to the one on a Walther PPK. And the trigger guard breaks down to allow you to disassemble the gun in the same fashion as the Walther PPK. It has a heel catch back here on the back, and that's how the magazine is with inhaled, withheld. The magazine only holds six. I can't get any more than six rounds in this magazine. Praise the Lord, because I ain't going to shoot it any more than that. And we're not going to shoot it again. I shot it on the first video and hurt my hand doing it. It is incredibly snappy. The 9mm Makarov round is a standard submachine gun cartridge in Eastern Europe. Subsequently, it's loaded pretty hot. And when you put the pretty hot submachine gun cartridge in a pretty lightweight pocket size semi-automatic pistol, typically the recoil is pretty severe. The gun is pretty snappy in your hand. These guns are worth somewhere around Oh, I don't know. I think J&D Sales has got these on surplus for sale right now. Somewhere around $169, $179 wholesale. I did manage to get off six shots with it. So we'll go down here and check her for accuracy. See how it shoots. So I did manage to get off six rounds with it. And we have one 10 in the X, 8, 8, 8, 8, and 7. Off to the left there a little bit. That may be me. But, you know, it's not a tag driver, but on the other hand, a full-size police silhouette at 15 yards, you can achieve some accuracy. Uh, so, you know, if you're shooting at somebody that's uh, seven yards away or three, you know, you'd have pretty accessible accuracy there. So anyway, now that's about the size of it for, hey, I got this old gun, used gun. Uh, Polish P64. Uh, like a Tate Sheriff, I commentate and subscribe. Um, the first, the first one, it it pinched my hand pretty bad, and I dropped the f bomb, so I had to quit. I can't, uh, I can't post that to the internet. You know, young people watch this thing. Uh, the second one I tried, and the train come by blowing its horn, and I'm like, that washed my audio out. So now this is my third one. Is, you know, some days, I'm from Kentucky, some days you get the bear, and some days the bear gets you. <laughs> All right, then, like to take, commentate, share, find, and subscribe, and, uh, and uh, Patreon link in the description, and uh, like that. Uh, we'll see you. Got another old gun I'm going to do. We'll see you now.